Hello everybody and welcome to the Murray Music YouTube channel. In this video we're going to turn this old Magnavox radio into a guitar amp. Alright, so the goal is going to be to tap in so that we can still have FM radio, but we're going to make this selector switch here so that instead of AM radio we have our guitar input. Alright, so the first thing we're going to have to do is open this guy up. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pulled the amp apart here so we can see the bulk of the guts. And ideally we'd have a schematic for it, but I was unable to find one. So we're gonna have to kind of poke around in here to find the best place to attach our guitar input. Now I think what that's gonna be is this switch right here is actually the AM FM switch. And we can see we got some wires going right to this switch terminal here. So I think if we plug in right here, this might be a good place to try and test out our guitar signal. So what I'm gonna do first is just poke around with my multimeter in continuity mode, just to see how this switch is operating. All right, so switch out, we got continuity yellow to green there. I switch it the other way, does it go yellow to blue? Sure does. All right, so essentially this switch that we have here looks like what it's doing is switching the input from either this orange to red or pink to red, and the same thing, green to yellow or blue to yellow. So I know with the switch out, that's gonna be AM. So if I check these here, it looks like AM will be orange to red and green to yellow. All right, so now that I kind of know, I want this uh, orange or green signal coming in. I want to go out to red or yellow. I'm actually going to check, make sure there's no voltage across that relative to ground and relative to each other. So let's just check. Nine volts there, green to orange. If I go green to ground, nothing. If I go orange, so maybe we're getting power from these ones. Maybe my signal wire is going to be this green wire here. Okay, so I have here a guitar cable that I made up and it's just a regular quarter inch jack on one side and I just got little connector clips on ground and signal on the other side. Okay, so I've gone ahead and connected up my guitar leads here and we're gonna power up this amp and see how it goes. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> we have guitar. I think this one is my tone knob. Yeah. I'd say that's a success. It sounds pretty good. Right now we got a lot of uh, interference going on here. Extra noise, and that's because our AM radio is still. Okay, Paul, talk to you next. So, we actually have, still have AM radio, so we're gonna go ahead and I think bust out the soldering iron. Let's make sure that doesn't touch anything we don't want it to. And let's go ahead and turn it on again and see if we have guitar minus radio. We got nothing here, huh? Interesting. Oh, we got nothing because 
we turned the power off. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and unsolder the other end of that wire down in there. And with that loose, should be able to pull out yep, all of this green wire so that it doesn't give us any problems in the future. Okay, so I just went searching through the land of wires down here and I found this old microphone cable. And I think a section of that is gonna be perfect for us to use as some shielded cable to get from here over to our back panel. Okay, so now we just need to solder up a quarter inch jack to the end of this cable, and then we need to drill a hole somewhere where this can mount in the back panel of the radio. Okay, so now I just have to mark out and drill a hole for our jack to go in, and I'm thinking somewhere right here next to the serial number that'll be far enough away from the rest of the amp and the power supply, and it'll be a good spot for it below this grating. So I'm going to think somewhere right in here, and there's no tip on this pencil. So now I just have to press on these knobs and then try it out. with the way this conversion turned out. Let's see here, we can also turn up the volume a bit. And get some good crunchy tones. There's also a loud button on this radio. So let's make it louder.
that's about it for this project. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm debating adding a speaker jack to the back of this so that I can plug in an external speaker cab instead of the internal speaker since this one's kind of farting out as it is. But that's half the fun, right? Sounds good. So if that's something you'd like to see in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.